Hey everybody, Dan from On One here. I'm really excited today to reintroduce you to Brilliance AI. If you haven't heard of it, Brilliance AI is probably the most important new feature in PhotoRAW 2024. It is a game changer for your digital workflow. For all of us, when we take pictures with our cameras, when it comes out of the camera, it's not quite what we remember, and it takes a lot of work in those basic raw processing adjustments, things like exposure and shadows and highlights and temperature and tint to really make the photo look like what we remembered. Well, Brilliance AI uses the power of artificial intelligence to act like a fast forward button. It literally does all of that heavy lifting for you, makes the photo look great so that you can go straight to the stylization, the type of work you would do in effects or with layers. Let me show you how it works here. I've opened a photo. This is straight out of the camera and over here on the right hand side, right below the layers pane, you'll see Brilliance AI. All I do is simply turn it on. When I turn it on, it does a couple of things. It's going to analyze the photo and it's going to automatically fix the tone. So that's all those shadows and highlights and things like that. And it's also going to detect any color cast and it's going to remove the color cast for me automatically. I'm just going to grab the amount slider right here. And I'm going to show you. This lets me control how strong the overall adjustment is. That's the original photo. At 100 is Brilliance AI's recommendation and I could even go stronger than that if I wanted to. So I just dial in the amount of automatic adjustment that I like. I usually like it pretty close to that 100 range, but you can tune it to your tastes. Speaking of tuning, you can roll down the fine tune option and this lets you control the tone adjustment and the color adjustment independently. So I can control how much of the color correction is applied. You can see it was very cold to start and it was able to detect that and filter out that cold look and then also the tone adjustment where it was optimizing the tone for us. So we could split those and adjust them independently. Maybe I want to increase the amount even more, but I don't want quite so much color correction then. I can back off on the color to get just the balance that I like. Now Brilliance goes beyond just the basic tone and color adjustments. And it's not like your daddy's old fashioned auto algorithms. These are really AI algorithms that are trained on hundreds of thousands of properly exposed and adjusted photos so that it knows based on the photo type, what's in the photo, how to make it look good. But it goes beyond that. Let me roll down this local adjustment section. It also knows what's in your photo. So it can analyze the photo and add local adjustments for the most common important regions for you automatically. Things like flora, sky, water, people, it'll automatically add adjustments for. So you can see it's detected three regions automatically, one for the flora. So if you watch the trees in the background, what this is doing is it's detecting those trees and it's allowing me to shift the green and make the green pop out even more. Same thing with the sky. It's going to darken and make the sky more vivid so I can control just how much that sky adjustment is applied. Same thing with the water. I can control how much water, uh, how much more blue the water will get. And I can just adjust that right there. Let me turn this on and off so you guys can really see a before and after. So there's before and after. Brilliance is so smart that it can actually tell if your photo has a lot of noise by looking at the ISO, it can automatically apply no noise AI to high noise photos, or if it sees faces in a photo, it can automatically add portrait AI to retouch them. So a lot of those complex tasks, it can do, do them for you automatically, setting you up in the perfect spot to go being creative after that. Let me show you on another photo. Let me show you what it can do with a portrait photo. So here we have an outside environmental portrait, but we really needed some fill light. There's no light in the eyes. It's kind of a, a dead flat photo. Well, watch what Brilliance can do. I'm just gonna turn it on. You can see how it found the subject, it found the person. It automatically brightened her. It automatically added portrait AI to retouch her face and eyes and mouth and skin for us automatically. And I can just use that amount slider to control how strong I want that overall adjustment to be. And in the local adjustment sections, you can see how it's automatically set selections for the background. So I can lighten and darken the background. So watch, I can actually adjust this back and forth and control how dark the background is. It's essentially key shifting the photo so I can make her pop off the background even more. And of course, there's that flora one for adjusting how green the trees are behind her. The people slider lets me adjust how much she is going to pop out from the background. The sky lets me darken the sky. And of course, water lets me control how the blueness of the water is. Let's take a look at the before and after again. There's before and there's after. That's pretty crazy. Let me show you another. Here's an indoor portrait, but you notice it's shot at 3200. That means it's probably going to have some noise. Let me zoom in a little bit and let's take a look. You can see how there's quite a bit of noise in this photo. When I turn on Brilliance AI, it's going to recognize that noise based on the ISO and it's going to automatically apply 
no noise AI noise reduction to fix that. Bam, look at that, it went away. Let me zoom out a step and I'll turn it on and off. There's before and after. And let's take a look at the whole photo, before and after. Now this is a case where I could use that amount slider to turn up the adjustment and make her even brighter if I wanted to. And by rolling down the fine tune section, I can really dial in just the amount of that color correction that I'm interested in. Now, one of the other cool things you can do in that local adjustment section is we'll automatically add adjustments for the most common areas, but you can also turn on other things that we detect. So in this case, maybe I want to turn on the pet region or the animal region. So if I roll down the region selector, I can turn sections on or off. I'm going to turn the background off so the background's a little bit brighter, and I'll turn the animal region on. There we go. And now with that animal slider, I can adjust how bright the dog or how bright the girl pops out of the photo before and after. So there you have it. That's Brilliance AI. It's like a fast forward button for your workflow. It takes you from zero all the way to a optimized, color corrected, tone corrected, regionally adjusted, retouched and noise reduced photo ready for you to go do the creative stuff. Now, of course, everything it does is really automating the features inside of Photo Raw. So you have full control over everything. You can go and adjust every single knob that it's adjusting for you automatically. And Brilliance AI goes beyond develop, it also lives here inside of Browse, making it easy to apply the best automatic adjustments without even having to go in to edit. So watch, I could grab a selection of photos right here inside of Browse and turn Brilliance AI on. It will individually look at each photo, apply the correct tonal adjustment, the correct color adjustment, and even apply those local adjustments for us automatically. And then I can go in to develop and I can make fine tune adjustments to them if I need to. It's a great way to prepare your photos for your client or even just to give yourself a head start on your editing. All right, there you go. That's Brilliance AI. We can't wait to get it in your guys' hands with Photo Raw 2024. We think you guys are gonna love it. It's like I said, a fast forward button for your workflow. It's gonna make things so much easier for you to get started and be creative. There you go. Thanks for watching.